Hi, my name is Arun Karnegunla, working at Techie Geek Up Software Solutions. In this video, we are going to cover the concept of instance identifiers and qualifiers. Instant identifiers are the placeholders in a profile that can be used to identify specific data sets based on a specific data value, which is called a qualifier. Instant identifiers can categorize the data sets into two ways. One way is to categorize the data set based on the numeric occurrence, either it will be the first occurrence, second, third, or last occurrence. The other way is to identify by using the qualifiers. In Boomi, we can add the instance identifiers for the JSON, XML, and EDI profiles. Let's have a look at the Boomi. How can we implement this? I have created a Boomi process, which will send the customer's XML as an input for a map. Let me show you the customer's XML. This is how it looks like. So the root tag of the XML is the customers, and it has repeating customers. And inside the each customer tag, we have a name, and we have an address tag, which we'll be repeating. So here's the sample XML. Let me show you the message sheet. So I have added the customer XML into this message sheet. And uh, I have created an XML profile out of this customer's XML. And I have made the customer and address fields as unbounded. I have created a customer JSON profile as well, which will have the same fields. Let me just show you. Yeah. Now, let me just map them one to one using the Boomi suggest. Let me test the process. Let's wait for the process to run and see the output. Yeah. Like you can see here, so customers is the root element here, and we have two customers, and the address tag was repeated. Now, let's see how the occurrence instance identifiers works. Let's add the instance identifier for the customer to take only the last customer, basically last occurrence for each tag. So for that, for that first of all, we need to click on the customer wherever we need to add the instance identifier. Add instance identifier. So here you can see two checkboxes. One was to identify by occurrence. The other was to identify by qualifier. In this case, I am trying with identify by occurrence. And now our requirement is to pull the last occurrence of the customer type. When I click the save, you can see a tag got generated here under the customers. Let me save and close. And here I can see all the fields were generated. Let me remove the mappings. Let me add the mappings from our qualifier, which was created. Yeah. Now, let me run the process by saving it. Let's wait for the process to run and look at the output. So let me show you the input XML again. So here we can see two customers. The first customer was double five triple zero, and the next one was double six triple zero. So since we are mapping it from the instance identifier of the last occurrence, so it should give the JSON with the double six triple zero data. Yeah. 
So here, if you could see here, so the customers tag were created with only one customer, and that was with ID double six triple zero. That is nothing but our last occurrence. So this is how the ID instance identifiers by occurrence works. Now, let's have a look at the qualifiers. I just open the XML profile. I'm deleting the instance identifier, which I have created earlier. Now, for adding a qualifier, the first step is to add the qual create the qualifier inside the tag. So I need to add the qualifier on basis of ID. So I'm clicking on the ID attribute. And here, if you could see here, I have already created a qualifier with the value as double five triple zero. Let me just show you again for you. So I'm going to add it. So here I need to provide the value of the qualifier. So in this case, let's try to pull only the double five triple zero value. Here it is. Now, let me add the instance identifier here. So in this case, we are going to check the checkbox of identify by qualifier. Let's select the qualifier. This is the one which I have created now. So like you can see here, it has created one more customer tag for me with qualifier as of ID is equal to double five triple zero. So if you could see here, the mappings were automatically mapped. So let me just run it by saving it. Let's wait for the process to complete and check the output. If you could see here, it has only one customer and that customer has the ID as double five triple zero. So this is how both instance identifier ways work. One was by using the qualifier, the other was based on the occurrence. Here are the few rules of instance identifiers and qualifiers. An XML profile can have a maximum of 200 instance identifiers. So that's the limit of an, for an XML profile. And we can have nested identifiers within Boomi. And the qualifiers which we are going to add in the profile are case sensitive. So if we have to take care about the case while adding the qualifiers, JSON profiles only allow an identifier instance on repeating arrays. Unlike an XML, it will not allow identifier instances at each of the field level. It will only allow on repeating arrays. The order of defining instances is important either it may be occurrence or qualifier first. This is all about instance identifiers and qualifiers. Thank you, everyone.